Hey everyone, I'm Drew from NWA3D and we are going to set up Cura for the NWA3D A5. So what you're going to do is you're going to have to download Ultimaker Cura 3.2 or just install it from your SD card inside of the Cura folder. And uh, once you get it set up on a Windows or Mac, the first thing that's going to pop up is this Add Printer uh, window. And to get rid of that, if you don't see this, you can click on the settings right here and then printer and then add printer to make sure that that pops up because we want to add our own specific printer to make sure it's the correct one. So we're going to click custom and then this is where we're going to name our printer. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it the NWA 3D A5. And then now we're going to click add printer. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set the sizes of our printer and we're also going to set the type of filament that it has coming out. So our X, Y, and Z first, uh, we're going to change that to 125 by 150 and then we'll leave this at 100 so that's about 5 by 6 by 4 inches and now we're gonna set this Marlin G code to rep wrap so it's really important that we change that to rep wrap because otherwise your prints are not gonna come out looking very nice so we have this 125 by 150 by 100 and then rep wrap right here and then we're gonna click on this little tab here that says extruder so we're gonna, when we tap on that one we're gonna change this material diameter right here from 2.85 to 1.75 and then now that we have this material set we'll leave the nozzle size set and our printer and everything will be all set up for our profile so to load our profile we'll go ahead and click finish and then on the SD card if you plug that into your computer using the USB dongle or uh, the SD card you can go ahead and double click on the SD card and see inside of your SD card you'll find the manual that walks you step by step through all of this. You'll also find Cura and inside of the Cura folder you'll find both versions for Windows and Mac as well as the Cura profile and that is what we're going to load. And it also has a screenshot of all the settings that the profile is going to load. So if you have that screenshot and you open that screenshot up, it's going to have all these different settings on everything that you're going to load for our printer. And also it has the complete settings of all the stuff that's behind the scenes on there as well. So you can check out all those different things inside of the SD card. But we're going to load that and import it into Cura. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my Cura and I'm going to click this little down arrow right here. And then I'm going to click Manage Profiles. And then from here, this is where we're going to import our profile. So I'm going to click Import, and then I'm going to navigate to my SD card. So I'm going to go ahead and move over here on the Finder, and then go to my SD card, and then go to Cura, and then we'll see right here is our NWA 3D A5 printer profile, dot .cura profile. And then we're going to take that and click Open, and then that's going to import it. Da -da -da! It's imported. And we'll click OK. And then now we're going to go ahead and close this, and this is ready to rock. We just need to load it. So go ahead and click on this little down chevron again and then click on the NWA 3D A5 printer profile. So once we have that selected, we'll see it right here, and then we'll see that our material is PLA, so you can click this little chevron and make sure that you have PLA selected to make sure you have the correct material. And then you can pick your correct printer right here, so you can make sure that you've selected your NWA 3D A5. So once we have all those set, you'll see here's all those settings. Those are the screenshot that I mentioned before for all these different settings that you can set up. And once you have these settings in, now we're ready to be able to print. So if I drag this up here so we can see the bottom, we can go ahead and click open file. And then on your SD cards, we're going to go ahead and just click on one of these STL files. So anything that's a .stl or .obj can be imported into Cura to print. So once we click on a file, so I'll just click on this keychain for instance, I'll click open. And then here is our file. So I can right click and kind of rotate this view and kind of move it around a little bit. And then once the view is rotated, I can see that this isn't, isn't a very good orientation. This should be flat because otherwise it's going to need to print all kinds of supports that are on there to hold it together. So when I click on this, I can click my rotate right here. And when I click rotate, when I rotate, I can click on these circles and I can drag them around to be able to flatten it out. And when it gets flat, it'll go all the way down here to the bottom. I can also click move and I can make sure that it's flat with Z is the zero and I can either use these arrows to move it around or I can click on my model and I can put as many models out here as will fit. So if I want to load another one, maybe I can load a second one. So you can load whatever you want. I'll just go ahead and load a second keychain. Why not? And then once I have my second keychain loaded, I'll go ahead and click on this one and I'll rotate this one as well. And this one though, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because you can actually scale models. So you can design something in uh, your CAD design program to be an exact size using your digital caliper if you're going to be like prototyping something or, or uh, anything else along those lines. You just have to make sure that you export it as a millimeter file because if you don't it'll be really really tiny when it imports because it'll be in inches. So I'm going to click my scale right here and then go ahead and change this to 150 and make it a little bit larger. And then when I press enter 
now it'll automatically scale it up. And you can turn off the uniform scaling if you want to grow just one of these X, Y, or Zs and leave the other ones the same. But we'll go ahead and leave it like that. That's perfectly fine. And then now I'm going to go ahead and rename it. So I'll click this arrow right here and I'll rename it Keychains. And then now, uh, when I press enter, it's renamed, and I can click either save to file, or if I click save to file, it will go anywhere on the uh, on the computer. So I can save it to my desktop, for instance. But if you have your SD card plugged in, you can click this little chevron and see that save to removable drive is going to be popped up right here. And when you click save to removable drive, now it's saved it directly onto your SD card. And you can even double click and you can check and see that it's on there. There it is. Keychains right there. And it says file saved here. You can even eject it without having to go and eject the SD card by going to the dock to be able to eject it. I can just click eject and now it'll eject it out. So I can put that SD card into my uh, A5. And then once it's inside the A5, I'll use the control screen to select print and then print my model. So good luck 3D printing. And if you need any help at all, you can reference the user manual that's found on your SD card or you can contact us at nwa3d.com support. Have fun printing!